We've got this. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, explained by CNN Business. So I believe the biggest uh, thing to come out of this is that last week, a piece of digital art sold for $69.3 million. NFTs have suddenly captured the world's attention. In the simplest terms, NFTs transform digital works of art and other collectibles into one-of-a-kind verifiable assets that are easy to trade on the blockchain. So essentially, you can trace back the, the ownership of a piece of digital media or a, a digital file back to uh, this owner and, and that can be traded for tangible amounts of money. So I think this is kind of crazy that anyone, th this is just the economy as a whole, right? I, I think it's kind of ridiculous that you would buy anything for that amount of money, that especially uh, something digital. I think this is insane. Essentially, we've come into the... I wanted to talk about this with Avon, really, actually. I thought this was the next podcast topic for us, but he's not here anymore. Avon has left me. But this is essentially the, the file here. It's like, look, I have this photo now. I can right-click, save as image right now. And look, now I have the files. So I don't understand why you pay. I mean, okay. It's not high quality. But so like, now I own this. So I don't understand exactly. Um, it's just so funny to me that someone would spend $69 million on this. But I mean, I, I get it, right? You really like this piece of art and you are, you've got $69 million burning a hole in your pocket. Okay, if you wanna spend that kind of money, go for it. Anyways, let's let's dive in a little bit more into it. Any digital image can be purchased as an NFT, but there are a few things to consider when buying one, especially if you're a newbie. You'll need to decide who wrote this CNN. You'll need to decide what marketplace to buy from, what type of digital wallet is required to store it, and what kind of cryptocurrency you'll need to complete the sale. Oh, I didn't know you needed cryptocurrency to purchase these things so this is essentially really rich people um trying to throw their money wallets down on the table just you know drop the except you don't nearly have the same effect dropping the the gold sack on the table like i'll make this purchase right now um like in pirates of the caribbean or something and and uh, except this is all digital and it's just the it's just like the epitome of of stupidity I think this is this is the future right I, I think this is one step closer to to us making living in the cyberpunk world right it all it all connects back to cyberpunk we're slowly taking steps to these types of things, right? I mean, money has already been, transferable money has already been digital for a long time now, um, but now it can be used to, now money isn't even money anymore, right? It seems like people are getting so obsessed with cryptocurrencies, which I mean, for good reason, right? They have, they're making a lot of money off of it, but but people are getting it, and, and then that uh, obviously translates back into gaming, where we have this uh, shortage of, of graphics cards and, and silicon and, and uh, things like supply constraints related to 
processing them because everyone's buying up graphics cards in order to make these huge rigs and, and daisy chain all their, their graphics cards together to mine cryptocurrency so they can make more money. Um, but I think uh, it's, it's really boiling down to greed, right? Rich people just want to get richer and they want to get richer fast. So this seems like and it gives them a lot of power, right? I, I don't know. This is just me talking about capitalism essentially, but it's it's kind of sickening, I think. Anyway, let's let's take a look at the, a video clip of LeBron James slam dunk sold for over two hundred thousand dollars, and a decade old Nyan cat gift went for six hundred thousand dollars. It's like we're just making a mockery of things at this point. Oh, you just want to be able to brag about how you spent money on this. It's not even like how you need to understand what an NFT is. It's essentially a, a like a cryptic uh, a way of uh, encrypting the ownership rights to these images and these videos. You can sell videos now is kind of ridiculous like I said like we just literally went through the process I right click something save as image here and now I have a copy of it so it's not like so it is a little ridiculous you're making a mockery of your own wealth and and I think that you have too much money that you're wasting and you could be using it on something better I, that's my opinion of this situation and I'm kind of disgusted by it <laughs> But yeah, so it all ties together, ties in everything. It's crazy. Uh, this is a crazy world we're living in. I, I, I can't wait. I just want to live to the point where we are living in the cyberpunk world and, and we are transferring money digitally to buy digital things and shit like that. My tea's gone cold. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I think that's the end of the podcast, guys.